good afternoon everyone good day everyone all over the world welcome to build the light vocational and educom sorts uh it's been a while and a training but this uh, very moment i want to um start the fascinator training as you have known fascinator training you know in the flyer i talked about what i'm going to be talking about like types of fascinator, basic steps in fascinator making and um, uh, how to use fascinator. So you're going to see all these things in the notes I'll give you, but you know, like, you know, pure delight, you love practical, just being practical, that is it. It's not about theory, but it's just about you being able to do it yourself. And many of us that have known our training and have been trained by us, by God's grace, you have seen that there is no how you will not be able to do it. Especially if you just, you know, play the videos and everything, you will just do it. That is it. So now I want you to follow me as I proceed. And before I proceed, I just want to know. I want you to know that you will know how to do the fascinator. Do you understand? There will be deal. Once you can follow the. Of steps I will just mention in this video you will understand and know it all right before I start the steps now I want to tell of the types of fascinator I've, although you will see it in the note like I've said but I just want to show us types of fascinator you know we have I, I have personally have categorized it we have molded fascinators and unmolded or non-molded fascinator you understand so and then that um non-molded or unmolded fascinator so to say is also categorized into like many types i would say like two types or three types so depends and fascinator depends on your creativity like if i see a person use fascinator i'll be able to know the type of fascinator the person is using or used until I knew that ah, this particular fascinator and, and I will see how I can make it especially if I've not made it before how I can make it. until then I won't my mind will not leave that I'll just be looking searching in my brain I'll just be you know searching and all that until I get it that is it you know when you can do something you'll be able to ah, what is it how did it go how did how is it how it is being made and all that so that is it so we have fascinator. I told you we have molded and unmolded fascinator. This fascinator you are looking at, look at it. It's very expensive. It's white. I make it on other because you know people now white. This is white. This is it's not molded fascinator. You can see. You can see. You can use it anyhow, like like this. See, like I used it, and also you can. You know put on for some churches that you know that don't uh leave their hair uncovered and all that they can use that is some uses um wig net you understand or turban and put it on top that is how, how you can use it or you can use it like that you know for uh wedding wherever and all that fly your hairs and use it like that so it is not molded and this is the type i'm going to be teaching us the basic types the basic how to do it so, you know if i teach you can you able to go further and be creative on your own so if this is also this type so you can see you have been seeing it on people you know this is uh the accessory here is feathers and some other accessory you know that is fascinator for you you can be able to use different accessory this is also on molded or non-molded fascinator see it like this mm -hmm. and see this type too just the design see there's a, a a cap underneath i put a cap underneath and i joined it with the cap so i can use it with the cap like this you get with the cap you understand something like this you get if i don't want to use it with the cap i will use i will remove it use it like that on my hair you know different styles that is it now we have under the unmolded now or non-molded pardon my english i don't know so you 
I have another one. This is what we call quinone line fascinator. This material is called quinone line. You can see. You have seen it also. Maybe like little ride or whatever. Add up to. You can use it on anything. You can use it on your design. You get like I use this on this design. And I can use it alone. Different types. This is quinone line fascinator. I'll just put my uh, accessory. Make it my Alice brand. Any type I want to use. So that is it. You can see. So we have types of even unmolded or non-molded fascinator. This type also, and another type I'll show you um, in the um, in my theory. I'm going to send some some to you. This is also unmolded or non-molded. Anyhow, so it, it is the material we used. Yeah, but if you use it, it will be as if you molded it. Do you understand? You molded it. That's how it will be. There's some too that will be as if you molded it. So this you can use this type for this style for your Ankara fascinator. That is a piece of your Ankara. You use it like this and all that. But and this particular one is what we call molded fascinator. That is, I did not use, you know, see the shape. So I molded it. We have a mold and all that that we use to mold. You get it? So I molded it. And this is the shape of my mold. We have different shapes of mold. You will have been seeing it on people using it and all that. Different shapes of mold. So this is another type of mold. I, want, I just wanted to cover my head a little without using any wig, um, whatever. You know, if I use it, I'm, I'm fine. I'm okay. So that's why I go for this mode. And many people have been ordering it. You know, they love it. And it's lovely. And the material, you know, we have different types of material that we use for molded fascinator. So you can use it anyhow. Like I said, the way I'm using it. I don't need to cover my hair with wig net or something. So it's very lovely and okay. All right. So that is just types of fascinator. Yeah, different types. Now, let's move straight into uh, the steps. I think I've explained the types of fascinator and how to use it now. You know, I've talked about it. Now, the steps. The steps now. So, basic fascinator. Basic steps in fascinator making. If I teach you now, I'm going to be creative and make even more beautiful things out of your own too. Look at it. I want to start now. I want to introduce you to the material. This is a tissue net. See? The tissue net. This is it. It's a black. I'm making black oh, material. Black fascinator. Black color. And I will design it with some colors and other. Black fascinator. Look at it. This is my tissue net. I'm my tissue net. So at times I go for um, maybe you know um, fancy net mixture of silver and whatever. Anything you want in your tissue net. So you go for it. This is with it. And then we use wire. We call it wire. So wire. This is it. We call it wire. Then we use buyer's band. If I want to do without using bias band, I can do. But I love using bias band because it makes the tip of your work just matured and nice and okay. If I see a fascinator that they didn't use bias band, I know. You understand? I know what they what they use. But I love using bias band. It makes your work neat, matured, and very okay. So bias band. If I want to do red fascinator, I will go for red color by husband. If I want to use white fascinator, I will go for red, uh, white color by husband. So that if I put my name, another color will not be showing. Everything will blend together. That is the essence of by husband. Now, I love, some people do a lot of gum work. Only gum work. But my heart works, my fascinator work. I love to do both gum and, and sewing. You know for proper work so you can use my fascinator for years my 
act for years and it won't you know go scattered or anything because the tacking is fine the gumming is fine so that is what i do not only gum work now i want you the gum i use we have different types of gum this is b6000 we have uhu gum it's not here but uhu gum you can see it in the market we have can do gum i use any of them but majorly if i have a lot of work other i use can do gum the very stubborn gum is very very good when you just uh, use it on your work to remove it it's very difficult but without your eat gum or your lighter or your gas you know you eat you will need it to make it work so i have my heat gun here you know but it uses lights anytime there is light or a hundred or whatever i put it like this i insert my gun like this and i plug it and the gun will be automatically coming out the heat will be acting on the gun and it will be liquefying to be coming out so that is it so i love it because it's thick well this one to stick well but you know the cost and everything you know calculate the money you collected on the work and you know the type of material you use that is it and another thing goes to our accessory so i use my needle and my thread also needle and thread my scissors and also plier we need to use plier to cut our our what now our wire then my halis band we have different types of halis band but people that that knows my homework i don't use nonsense halis band i hate it personally whether i'm use i'm uh, working with any type of fascinator this is what i use i love it and i calculate it with your money because it's very expensive it's not just one dollar halis band or what this is like 300 250 pounds so if you want to sell a fascinator you know you just remove you know the amount and everything so this fascinator this um alice band is very expensive and it's very good it's you know it can carry your work very well i love using it no matter the fascinator i do i use good alice band what i'm saying is that we have different ones see this one too is a small one but it's also good but i just love using quality alice band all right so another thing is um wording wording if you don't have wording you can use anything as time goes on i will show you the work um me i use my label see pure delight and fashion for my label to cover it up and to make my work neat so that's and this is my accessory you can use a lot of accessories i have different accessories see feathers feathers is there for when you are using feathers you know how you build because feathers are very very expensive but i know how i get my feathers myself but these are very feathers are expensive and when i see this accessory you know you buy it in market there's some accessory you use your hand to do you understand you know i did it when i was you know with my material remaining material for molded fascinator so it's very lovely mm -hmm. so we have a lot of accessories so that is all about the fascinator right now we'll go right into the work please i would like you to look at this video and then make sure you try it out try it out yourself hmm? all right let's go now this is one yard right it is one yard but i have to cut it into half get it making half yard making what half yard i'm cutting right now
see, if, if you look to write that, some people, when you see that as Noah did not say, you will know, you know, to be lying and everything, but he, what I do, that I fall into my covered my wire now this is the major work of the fascinator see it now i've covered my wire so because i'm doing a black color fascinator so i'm using my you know i told you i used black bias band and i told you if you don't want to use bias band you can use your material that is a tissue net you just use it to you know round it round it but that one is like stressful and i don't like it it's not that mature but people use it 
it's good so now i want to cover it up with my neck look at it you know this is half yard and i folded it some people they don't fold for me i like folding to make my work matured and you know thick not that light kind of a thing look at the folding and i'm going to show you something about the folding you know i folded now so now the folding depends on the shape you also want look at it this is just round and people say okay but me i don't like it like this but when you see some fascinators you know some will be slanting slant will be it depends on how you fold see the moment you are squeezing the squeezing you determine the the you know the shape look at this shape you know it's not round it's not round it's not um I'm trying to adjust my you know there's band So I want to fold. I'm going to pick it up very well. Pick it up very well. So you know, you have already undid it at the middle like this. Hmm? So your folding will determine your shape. Some will be slanting. Some will be, you know, different type of shape. Look at it. So the moment I squeezed well, look at it. Now I've already formed another shape entirely. So depends on what you are looking for. See some shape. Look at this. So I think I like this. I'm going to leave it like this. So after getting this shape, you want if you want it to. You know, come out a little, go in a little, slanting, you know, different shape. Look at it. It's the folding. The more you fold it, the more it gives you any shape you want. I think I prefer this. It's okay. It's lovely. You know, if you release it, it will be perfect. It will come back to round or whatever. So after getting this now, I'm going to tie it. You get it with my thread again. I'm going to tie it with my thread. Mm -hmm. Look at it. I think I like it like this. It's very okay for me. Like this. So I'm going to tie it with my thread. Mm -hmm. So you can see the shape now. Look at the shape. So the way I folded it, you know, it depends on your folding. That is how your shape will be. So I think I like it like this. It's good, it's fine. So I'm going to, you know, I, I use my thread to, to hold it, to tie it, you know. So I'm going to cut off my thread and do the next thing. It will not 
be like pom up or something. All right, right now, you see, I have already gummed my Harley's band. See the side wrist. So I did it sideways so that when I put on my fascinator to be side waist, you know, I told it also side hat. So right now I want to tack, you know, so that I was to secure, you know, the, uh, the fascinator. I'm going to cap it up with tacking. See, that's a little tacking. Okay, I have already tacked my Alice band. Look at it. After gumming, I tacked. Can you see it now? I tacked. So the next thing is to put my accessory. You know, I told you, you use your accessory to cover this place. So, you know, I use this gum. I've been using this gum. But let me just teach you how to use this candy gum if you don't have electricity. So that it will not be as if I don't have light electricity i don't have um uh, it's gone or gone or glue gone or something so i will not use it you can use it if you have lighter you can use it at times i hung gas you know now and i put it like this it, it works but this is matches now you can use matches you know a match stick just do like this that is if there's no any alternative you can use it just to make it solidify yeah that is it so i want to use this big one at the middle so i put it put it there gum it You get it? This is my flower. So can you see? I already fixed my accessory. This is what I want to use. Flower accessory. So can you leave it like this or any other accessory? But I don't want to leave it like this. I want to add since it's black. I just want to add some colorful accessory that's what I, I want to i want it to be like this scatter it like this you know something like this like this at the edge so i just want to do it like that So I'm going to do it around just to beautify my fascinator. That's it. All right, let me gum it up. So I've done it right now. I've gummed my accessory. Can you see? 
round. My beautiful fascinator. See now. Beautiful. So now, what do I want to do next? The last thing, but not the least, is my cover up. See this tack tack, please. What I do, you use wording. There's something we call wording. Or you use your. Oh, what is that thing? Like a pizza charm, like band or something. But what I use is my my um my label. That's what I use. Pure delight at and fascinate to my number is there. I've just used it to cover it up like this. You know, it's advertising and it's perfect to cover it up. So that's what I do. And that's the end of this fascinating making. So you can see that you can make something out of it. So you can do any style you want. More beautiful than this. You can be more creative. You know, very fine and perfect. Anything you want. So let me go now. And you see. Right now, I hope you can see the label. So that is my label. My tag. I've covered it up with it. Can use any other thing wording you normally use wording but this one now the cover up is wording they sell it in the market they call it wording something to cover it up so but i love to use my little of my tag to cover everything else so at least it will not cost me so that is all about this beautiful fascinator you can see so let me use it now so to use this for joining us thank you i hope you can you have learned a lot about fascinator making this is just one type there's no more there but we can continue further you know in our advanced class i'll talk about more about the advanced class they want me to teach you every types of fascinator i've showed you molded the one that is not molded everything you know we go further even for your personal training personally everything you can talk about it appear the life professional and edu consult we impart practicals and i believe with this video you can do your fascinator within a tinkle of an eye thank you god bless you